So there we were, standing on this absolutely gorgeous mountaintop, staring out at the town sprawled beneath us. And I asked you if you saw yourself staying here in Nanaimo. And without skipping a beat, so <laughs> you told me how much this place and particularly this girl meant to you. Out of all the people in the world, out of all the places I've lived and people I've met, I feel so lucky to have found my person, the one that completes me, that always has a corny joke to make me laugh, who challenges me to be better, and is my biggest cheerleader along the way. I feel like my life started when I met you. I had the career and the cats. <laughs> but there was something missing. I met you, formed a friendship, and then as we moved through the stages of our relationship, I felt myself coming to life, and that was you. You woke me up to how exciting life can be when you share it with someone. Morning cuddles to the point of being late for work, a lengthy morning routine of kisses before finally a smooch on the lips. Having the motivation to do my best, not just at work, but at home too. I wouldn't have had any of this if it weren't for you, my love. <laughs> now leading up to today, everyone asked if I was nervous about the wedding, making me think of all those TV shows where the groom panics, but they're changing lives and spending the rest of the day with one person. And having been through all of this, I can safely say what a bunch of malarkey. I have never been less nervous and more excited and more overcome with joy at the idea of marrying you. In your beautiful eyes, I see a bright and wonderful future together where I'm as kind and as caring as you. You're an amazing person. And just being at your side, I feel better, stronger, and kinder. And I know our love will last forever through whatever challenges this weird world sends our ways. And I couldn't be happier to face every new day at your side. This past few years, Amara has thrived on the island. She accomplished what she'd set out on the road to do when she left Lethbridge less than four years ago. She fearlessly built a new life for herself. She set out to find a life that she loved here, and she found a life of love. I've had a hard time accepting love and feeling worthy of being loved throughout my life. But you're just so full of love and sweetness that it feels natural to be loved by you. There's no one else I'd love to have at my side through everything we'll face together. You're a treat and a dream, always have been, always will be. <laughs>